but I want to show you guys them building the highway. The new highway, finally. I'm gonna get a straight road to Mandeville. I'm pretty sure it's Mandeville. Correct me down below if I'm wrong. I need to show you guys for people who haven't been here for a while, so. Guys, it's the next day, I'm in Mandeville. I'm going to go pick up a package right now. I hate coming here for one package all the time. Listen, listen. These people watch, or people pay attention to every single package. They circled wig on here. Wig, I don't care if you guys see the address I use. I don't really care because it's just a PO box. Um, They were probably trying to charge me something. So I finally figured out how to get my packet, my hair packages in Jamaica and pay nothing basically. Yeah, great, I'm so happy. So, um, I, I'm going to, what am I doing today? Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. This is gonna be a gloomy vlog because I don't feel good. Listen, the flu's going around and I don't have the flu, but I just feel under the weather because I've been in Kingston. I haven't been like taking care of myself. I've just been going out, eating here and there and stuff like that. But I'm back in country. I'm in Manchester. I am right in front of Homewood. Now let's do some B-roll. They're It's Saturday morning and they're training. This would have been me if I did track down here, which I, which I wish I did. So right now I am at Emojin Furniture. So right across from Homewood, like on the main. Can you guys see their sign right here? So they told me to tell you guys. I have to thank them because they let me drive their, um, fly their drone right at their property. Um, they told me to tell you guys that they do quality work. They're a little bit more expensive, but they're reliable. So you guys can come here if you guys want furniture made. Let me show you guys. This is it. Emojin furniture. So they do dresses, drawers, night tables, everything. Okay. They help me, I help them. <laughs> okay. So your hand doesn't get cut? Me, um, around the border. Right here, so. No, it's okay. He wants me to cut, but I'm not going to cut no wood. This here, this here called this here a, um, a side saw. A side saw. Table saw, but it's a side saw. Oh, okay. Not a regular table saw. So it's totally different from the regular table saw. Table saw. Like the other woodwork man. What does this do to this the board? Oh, this here, um, put the board to one thickness. It's level it. Though. Level it, okay. Nice. Nice. I've got quite a few pools. <laughs> <laughs> here. Pools <laughs> in here. That we want to set up because we want more youth to come and learn trade. Okay, that's nice. So, you know, it's just a kind of put things one step at a time. One step, one step, one step. That's good. Because more, share it, share it. Okay, that's nice. Share it, so. Every youth from Christian, Spalding's, just, we don't mind everybody there. So how would they know to come here? It's well, them know. Some ox. Oh, okay. Some come, some no come. A car on a stop, you know, because um, we didn't make a plan with the principal up by, um, there, so yeah, you send somebody use them like one working experience for Corona mess it up. So, soon, yeah, I said soon again. 
open. Like go to place that fly up, you know. Let's hope so everybody run in so we can start make some money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to build some trade man because you have you can't find trade man nowadays. Really? Yeah. So what is everyone going for then if they're not doing trade? I mean, look one that one right there. Sir. In the yellow? Uh, the yeah. The fast scratch. I build him like I want car. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> he yeah, likes it. Like want car, eh? He likes it. Yeah, he loves the trade. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna be one of the leading trade man boy. Okay, that's good. Same one, same way to me. I build him fast scratch. Oh, that's so, so nice. Look more, look more them, run out too. Good. Be your own boss. All right. Is there anything more you want them to know about your business? Just you know, get the type of business that give people their work. Casting what people get their work done to how they want. That's good. All right, you guys can check them out. Yeah, so I'll leave details in the description box too if anyone's interested. Okay, bye. <laughs> Guys, if you hear an ice cream truck, there's an ice cream truck outside. I don't know why it has stopped right where I live for the longest time. It's been more than like two, three minutes. Anyways, so it's the next day. I have photo shoots today, so I'm going to bring you guys along with me for the few photo shoots I have in one day. But I'm going to be installing my hair. I'll talk a little bit more about the photo shoots after this portion. So I got a package. I picked up the, well, you guys saw that I picked up the package. Um, and we are going to <laughs> install a new bag sometimes. Oh, I know who this is from. I've worked with them already. I love their packaging. I've said this once and I'll continue to say it forever. So this is from A Love Me Hair. Their packaging is so nice. It's luxe. Okay, we're gonna open it together. Finally, the ice cream truck is in. So we're gonna open it. <gasps> Ooh, I felt like I already have something like this from another run, but um, here is the packaging. Inside of the packaging, we have this hair. This is cute. This is like a short, um, curly, uh, 12 inch bob here. So this is like a mixed color brown. It has like a lot of nice highlights. It's 12 inches. So we're a 12 inch babe today. <laughs> so it's 180% density. So let's take it out of the packaging here. Yeah, so it's really short and cute. So it's saying that it's like lightly plucked. Let me put it on for you guys. It's lightly plucked. It has a natural hairline. Of course, 100% virgin hair from one donor. And of course it's 13 by four inch lace. Now my braids underneath are so big that this will work and this will fit. <laughs> you know those like older women that actually wear their hair like this? And it looks so bad, but we're gonna fix this up to make it look super good. I got my mirror here. So this is brown Swiss lace. There's nothing wrong with you wearing Swiss lace. Like literally do what's in your budget and some people prefer Swiss lace. We're gonna do the middle part, but we're gonna fix this up. It always looks a little bit odd and off at the beginning. It never looks the best at the beginning, but once we are done uh, styling this, it's gonna look good. And plus it's gonna be a quick styling because all we have to do is like define the curls and then of course like make our hair look good. So let me give you guys a close up of the hairline. It can be plucked a little bit more forward. It can definitely be plucked a little bit more, but we're gonna deal with that in a bit. They sent some more. So it says, enjoy your hair journey from now on, from Helena. Founder, a message, and then in there, I think the hair was supposed to be wrapped in that, because the last time the hair was wrapped in that message. They have a bag of goodies. I love when these hair companies give us like these cute little, they gave me press on nails. This is the first time a company, um, a hair company gave me press on nails. And oh, these are like Christmas themed nails. Wow. And then they gave me lashes that I would actually wear. Wow. I told you guys this company is like a fave. I've worked with them on my channel and I was blown away by 
their like quality and then they gave me earrings they literally give you a whole entire setup to go out this is it they literally gave you so much they gave me combs we always need this pick things and then we have the look me here pamphlet all about any incentives refine how to take care of your hair a little bit about the company and so on and so forth just want to show you guys how it looks 12 inches I always feel like a bob like this is really cute. Even like a 10 inch bob I want to try. Do they have 10 inches? I think they do. So let's start with the top of my hair. So usually when it comes to laying down my hair, you can use wax on a stick or you can use like wax in this type of formula as well. So what the wax is doing is it is making the hair stay a little bit more flat for when we press it. Okay, I need that mousse. I literally ran out of mousse. I ran out of all my mousse. Mousse finishes so fast for me. So I'm going to go in with this lot of body mixture that I made. <laughs> I really can't get water on my face. Let me hold my head back. Let me hold it back. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my hot comb and we're going to just flat iron this down. When you go in, not flat iron, when you hot comb your hair, I'm going to tell you guys this. Whenever you guys hot comb your hair, it's going to give like a more natural look to your wigs because you're pressing down the hair. You're pressing the hair down to make it look like it's coming out your scalp. Obviously, we know it's a fake wig. Like, we know this. But we wanted to make it look as nice as possible. And if you want your wigs to look as nice as possible, you're going to want to do that. And I think my this hot comb, like, died because it fell a lot. I not put the mousse, the water in it as yet. But it's just laying much more better like for me sometimes i try to get my hair done my hairstylist when i can but sometimes i have to do my hair last minute and i'm like okay what hairstylist is going to be available last minute so then i'm just like okay i'm gonna have to just install my hair myself and that's what i have to be doing most times your line to look a little bit better i went in with got to be and I am trying to mold the hair with the got to be spray since it's a spray. Forgot to tell you, they have clips on the inside. They have like a elastic as you guys saw. And all of those great things that we need to secure the wig. So we're gonna go in and cut the wig. I'm going in with scissors I bought from a haberdashery in Jamaica. I think it's just the Annie scissors. They're literally at any beauty supply store. And you can buy these at the beauty supply store if you're in Canada, America. They sell these for the low low. Okay, when it comes to curly hair, deep wave, water wave, these wigs are like the best because they require your minimal work because all you have to do is define the curls and then do the baby hairs that you'll be doing. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'm going to add just like a baby hair at the side here. So we're gonna do baby hairs at the side right here. We're going to cut. The thinner your baby hairs, the more natural it looks. The shorter your baby hairs, the more natural it looks. And I'm going to cut on an angle. I'm going to go in with my got to be gel. And I'm going to use that to just like start off with styling my baby hairs. I use this to help scope out it. And then I go in with some another product to like set it in place. Even though this gel is like actually really good. Oh, this is a glueless install, as you guys can tell. So these are going to be the baby hairs. I got that to be on my makeup. Jesus, what is going on? And I'm going to bring this all back. Going in with makeup, usually I would put on a brush, but I can't bother. I literally have, a, I have to leave. I'm going in with my contour color. Well, my bronzer color, and I'm going to put that in a little bit more. Sometimes good, better for you to go in with your bronzer color because your bronzer color is what's framing your hairline, right? That is it for the top of my head install <laughs> okay now i have to wet this hair we're going to be defining the curls not bad not bad put some more up at the top here though this is it this is a random long um <laughs> a very random long Straight up here. Uh, 
I told you guys, like, by the time when we fix this up, it's gonna look a little bit. So, this is what we call a defined bag. A defined wig. Okay, and then I'm just gonna spray it again, hold it in. This really holds, like, it actually holds. And then I'm gonna go in with my Got to Be gel. It has some shedding on this here, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, but I'm gonna go with my Got to Be gel and I'm gonna go through and define my hair okay so this is the final look of the bob the 12 inch bob from a love being here look at this it shakes it doesn't look stiff let me know down below what you guys think about this quick glueless install. Do you love the length of this too? Give this video a thumbs up. All the information about Love Me Hair is gonna be linked down below in the description box. Make sure you guys shop them if you guys like this. Let's go on to me taking photos. Okay, hi guys, we're outside now. We're gonna be taking photos. Um, so I'm gonna try and set me up. I'm gonna try and set you guys up so you guys can watch me take photos. This is just gonna be short. I have a whole video on how I take my Instagram photos outside. I look for cute little spots like this and then I just take Instagram content. So you don't need a whole entire location for you to take nice Instagram photos. You just need a small little spot. So I like right here, it's cute. So we're gonna take photos right here. So I'm gonna set myself up right here. Hopefully this is like okay. And this is what I'm wearing. I already took IG photos in here but I deleted the photos so I'm gonna reorder it. Okay. So I'm gonna take these photos with my iPhone because it looks better on my iPhone than on my camera right here in this location. Let me change the angle. Sometimes I do the same pose over and over again because I'm indecisive. But let me put the camera right here. I'm writing Christiana, by the way, like on the main. Okay, try to do a video. Okay, so sometimes I do everywhere I take photos. Let me get closer to you guys. Everywhere that I take photos, I always do small IG story videos just so I can have, I can reuse for TikTok, I can reuse for IG stories, just that. So you guys can do that too. Okay, so he's gonna switch it onto like the video mode and then we're just gonna do a short video. I'm already ready. Oh, Okay, so this is it for the first location. I'm gonna go to Porus and we're gonna take more photos in Porus. Guys, you have to batch your content. If you wanna stay consistent, batching your content is what's gonna work. Not everyone wants to get up every day, taking photos every single day, putting on makeup every single day, doing their hair every single day. So you have to batch your content by doing everything in one day. And then spreading it out, of course. Okay, so I'm at the next spot. You guys let me know how you guys feel about this 12 inch bob. What do you guys think? Anyways, I'm at the next location. We're in um, Poor Us. I don't like the name. This name is like Poor Us. Anyway, so I'm gonna take it in front of this. Tech charge at things anytime, anywhere. So I think this would be really cute. So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm going to set you guys up. Do you want something right now? Anytime we're done. Take some pictures. Um, no video on my on my phone. I don't know why I'm acting like I can't talk. Yeah, these are nice. Okay, guys, we have the photos. Okay, now we're gonna do a video on my in, on my.
Okay guys, it is um, in the night. I finished my photo shoot. Now I'm just out of the little bar and taxing everyone here. I'm just telling everyone to give me my name. So, one, two, three, four, five. Who else am I going to tax? I need some money for me too. I'm taxing everyone. Why don't I have no pockets on me today? Next time. Anyways, you guys need to follow me on Instagram because I posted my photo. So you guys can see them. Instagram. You're rude. So, it feels like uh, something's in my eye, but maybe my eyelashes are. It feels like something's in my eye, but maybe my eyelashes are just not. Alright, so I need my Pepsi actually. Let me go get my Pepsi and come back. Today's a slow day. Guys, I was in all day. I was organizing all of the clips on my memory card and then I was like editing all my photos for Instagram so I can just easily like post it any anywhere I am anytime instead of me having to like edit right before I post which will sometimes cause me not to post on Instagram because I'll be out on the road and I can't really sit down and edit a video when I'm out on the road doing stuff so I pre-edit all my photos and then I will post them like sporadically like every other day anyways so follow me on Instagram at Anisha.Adams. Today I have a few things to do. I have to run to, I, ha I just ran out my house. I literally pulled on some yard clothes, ran out my house. I'm gonna run to Mandeville quickly. I have to bring a Spice so he can go get his ultrasound results, which it took like a whole day to get it. Like he had to come back. We went yesterday and he, we have to go today so he can pick up the results. I don't know, is that how ultrasounds work? You have to wait like a whole day just to get the results. I don't know when I went there anyways more information on all that will be in a separate vlog not in this vlog so after that I'm going to run to Swallings I have to run to Christiana actually right now my car's not warmed up yet I have to run to Christiana actually right now to the NCB ATM I hate going to that ATM because of how long I hate going to it during like day hours like if you go in the evening or early morning it's okay but when I go during like the day hours something have to wait so long because people take so long at the machines Pull up money there. I don't have to pull up money in Christiana. I always would recommend you guys to pull up money in Spallings because the lines are not long like Christiana and there's more machines in Spallings than Christiana. Like there's like four machines in Spallings. So I always, always, always like 99.9% .9 of the time pull up my money in Spallings. But the thing is sometimes I'm doing stuff in Christiana and where I'm going. So I have to go to Christiana to pull out some money but I have to pay for something. So and it's right beside the machine in Christiana. So it's just a one-eye move. After that, Mandeville, go to Spallings. After I go to Spa, well, I go to Spallings. I have to do my hair. I have to wash my car. I have to pack to go to New Grill. So you guys are gonna come with me um, to New Grill. We're gonna pack. I have to go to New Grill tomorrow. I have to leave out around like six o'clock. Guys, I am busy. Um, yeah, I am so busy. You don't even know. So Kim and Christiane, I'm in the NCB parking lot. If you guys want like nice, safe clean good parking lot <laughs> you can park at the ncb parking lot in christiana the only thing is you have to show proof that you went to the atms that's really it 
Um, I'm going to go run to the ATM quickly. Now, a lot of people may wonder why I always say Spalings, I always say Christiana, I always say Mandeville. So these are main shopping centers, main business centers, main, main health centers for a lot of surrounding neighborhoods. And those three places, Spallings, Christiana, and Mandeville are all in all near each other. So that's why I'm always jumping between all them. But the two closest beside each other are Spallings and Christiana. And then Mandeville is like 15 minutes away, but it's still really close. It sounds far, but it's literally really close. Jean. And I'll come back. I don't really like Christiana because it's hectic here. It kind of, yeah. Anyways, bye. Okay, it's surprisingly not as busy today. Good job. Okay, en route to. Oh my God, my battery's dead. En route to falling. Guys, I just got pulled over. I always get pulled over because of the type of car I drive. <laughs> All the time. Anyways, he pulled me over a transport authority, but it was the police that came to talk to me. I haven't seen this police officer. So I was like, what station do you work at? He's like, mind of a, um. So in Spallings now, I got pulled over twice by the same guy. He didn't remember it was me. Anyways, we're going into uh, the supermarket right here. Okay, so we're going in here. Chinese haberdashery or Asian owned. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking in these boxes here. They're these cheap like slippers you can wear in the yard. And stuff. Okay, he's selling corn soup. What is this? Corn soup? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. Usually you're down there, right? Yeah, right. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, that's nice. Okay, thanks. Okay, I'm back home. I look like I'm being taken care of compared to how I was looking before. So I'm going to pack. I'm gonna pack for the girl. I need to pack. Look at my room. Guys, I don't live like this. It's just that I'm decorating this place little by little by little. So I just, I'm doing my bedroom currently. So my filming room literally looks a huge mess but we can pack together and we can talk so usually i have i'm gonna put you guys on this tripod here usually i have inspo photos i need to talk for this <laughs> sorry so you people usually ask me anisha how do you lose weight so fast and so easy Guys, I think it's just my body type. It's just my body type. It's been a little bit of stress. A little bit of stress. But it's uh, my body type. That's how I lose weight so fast. I don't eat as much. And I don't eat um, that processed fertilizer food when I'm in Jamaica. So Honestly, it's just my eating habits. I don't really eat as much. Because I'm always on the road. Like, I, I don't think I can go one day with staying home here. I always have to be like, okay, I need something. I have to go on the road for it. Or someone wants me to do something. And I'm like, ugh. So right now, I'm going to pack for a new girl. So I have packing bags. Let me show you guys. Can you... I bought this at, was it TJ Maxx? No. TJ Maxx, I bought this. Was it TJ Maxx? I think it was TJ Maxx I bought this. Yeah, right here. Bought this for $20 at TJ Maxx. Best $20 I've ever spent. Uh, and it is by... This is when I was in America in the summer. It's by this brand. It's very nice. And then I bought this at a thrift store when I was in America. It's humongous and I only paid $5. Hue to the mongous. Like, look how big that is. So I'm going to pack this first. And then I don't want to bring two bags. But I'm staying for like it's five... What is it, three or four days, I'm saying? I don't want to pack that bag, but we're gonna pack this one first. I'm going to try to put everything in this first. Usually I have to bring two bags because I have uh, I have footwear, I have more than one outfit that I'm gonna take inspo pictures with. Good thing it's Negro, so I'm gonna try and pack as much swimwear as I can. I'm mainly gonna try to pack swimwear and then cute outfits for like the excursions and the workshops that I'm going to be attending. You guys can watch my new girl vlog if you guys want to see exactly all that I'm going to be doing. 
So I'm gonna vlog, I mean, I'm gonna pack and then I'll see you guys in the morning when I am getting gas. And when I'm on my way. So I'm gonna go through all these, like this. Okay, this is what I'm gonna pack today, girls. So I have like a lot of outfits I haven't taken photos in and they're brand new. So like, I'm gonna bring this to Ningro with me. This is gonna look hot. I can wear this to like dinner or just take the contact photos. And this, and then I have like a lot more other stuff. Oh, I'm gonna wear this. This is going to be important. Did I take a photo in this yet? No, I'm gonna be wearing this to um, the vegan cooking we're gonna be doing in the bushes. This is gonna be cute to wear. Um, I need to wear this to get ready in. I love getting ready in these. They're just um, ropes. I love getting ready with in these. Bringing something to sleep in. Oh, you guys follow me. Ugh! Follow me on Instagram at Anisha.Adams. I'm gonna be wearing this. This is hot. Like, this is definitely content photos. Hot like fire. Okay, I will see you guys. Hi everyone, it's the next morning. It's like, uh, it's probably like five something right now. I didn't really get to show you guys my hair properly. So, I'm on route to the grill. Um, I'm gonna put on a ponytail. I don't know if this one will work out, but we'll see. The only reason why I'm doing my makeup from this early, I'm so tired. I woke up at 4.30 and I was like, I'm just so tired. <laughs> I'm just so tired. I'm gonna have to straighten these. That's a ponytail. Should I even wear a ponytail? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I got ready from now because I know by the time I reach to the grill, I have a workshop as soon as I reach it for one o'clock. Even though I think I'll reach a little bit before one o'clock, but I don't want to go there and then have to get ready. Well, I have to. I feel like I'm rushing to get ready, and I don't want that. I have this bundle here. But I feel like one bundle will look too thin. That's embarrassing. I've had two of them. It might look a little bit better, so I have this ponytail right here. I just have to brush it out. Hopefully it doesn't look like too stale or anything. <sighs> yeah, so I'm thanking myself from now. Like I'm saying thank you, Anisha Adams, for doing your makeup from now. Listen, I cleaned my whole entire house yesterday. That's why I didn't come back on camera. Let me show you guys the clothing. Can you see? I have my bags at the front door because I put them at the front door from last night my whole house is cleaned everything is in order because do you know why i cleaned my place before i left because i don't want to come back to an unclean place i swept up the place everything i'm gonna have to this is the length of my hair currently i'm gonna have to trim it though because they're gonna be i have to start going back to the hairdresser regularly so i can look so i can look like somebody's child Somebody's bit there. Look bit there. Yeah. Guys, remember to follow me on in, at, on Instagram at Nisha.Adams. Guys, you'll see a lot of my pictures that I take while in Jamaica. And I'm also trying to build my Instagram, so. It'd be nice if you guys can follow, comment, and like my pictures, and share them, and share them, and share them. I bought ear pods. Did I finish my weight loss um, commentary with you guys? Basically, I just lose weight fast. I don't know if it's just my jeans or what it is, but I lose weight really 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 fast it's keisha dark skin no belly eats keisha <laughs> uh tiktok has songs stuck in my hizzo i'm not saying this is the best ponytail but this is what i'm gonna give for today let's hope it doesn't try and slide off it feels so loose i'm not gonna lie girl you don't lie this is what the girls are gonna give today now that get it get it and the girls that don't Shut out. It's key shit.
Like, and, and you should. This feels like it's gonna, it doesn't feel the most secure. I was using this to tame my edges. Anyways, I was using this. This is number six. I don't really like number six. I try to go for number nine. But I use that just to tame the flyaways. Like I put a little bit on and then I go like this. And then I go in with my brush. Let me make sure everything's put back properly. Guys, there's so much fog in Christiana right now. <laughs> Early morning. I'm getting gas here. I always get gas here. We are the kids in the road. Fuck up on the road. This is fuck up on the road. Looking at the foggy road. The foggy road. The foggy road. The foggy road.